Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone is in good health and excited to watch our educational documentary. So without further ado, let's begin. When we talk about beauty, cosmetics are one of the hot topics to be discussed. Makeup has been worn for thousands of years. In today's world, women has a wide range of cosmetics to be chosen from varieties of colors and uses. Although the trend in cosmetic constantly change, are we aware of the product that we use? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. So in this video, we will discuss about the characteristic ingredients, comparison between makeup brands, and finally the effect. So enjoy! Lipstick are a must-have makeup item for every woman. But do you know what does it take to be a good lipstick? These are the characteristics of a good lipstick that every user must know. Many did not know what they are actually applying on their lips. Now, worries no more as we are going to show you what are the basic ingredients in your lipstick. Humble substances are now common to be used in every makeup and cosmetics. In lipstick, these are the harmful substances that are usually aided to make the lipsticks can endure high temperature. In lipstick alone, there are hundreds of brands in this industry, but the main focus is the retail price for each of the brands and also how do they differ from each other. So, here is a comparison between the most expensive lipstick brand with an affordable brand. According to the experts, the harmful substances are not an issue because they are added in a small quantities. But if one uses them in a very long period of time, they will experience these health effects. What does it take to be good foundation? Well, here is a few characteristics for a good foundation. Shown are the most basic ingredients that are used by most brands to produce foundation. This is a list of the most common harmful substances that can be found in foundation. These are the comparison between high and foundation with an affordable foundation brand that can be found in the market.
followed are the effects of foundations that are not suitable for individual skin types and also for the long period exposure of the harmful substances. Someone asked a makeup artist about what kind of cosmetic product that has the power to transform our look. Then the answer is blusher. First and foremost, the main characteristic of blusher is to enhance our facial features and also adds healthy glows to the skin. Now that's what we call as transformation. These are some of the basic ingredients to produce a blusher. Pigment, fillers, natural fatty acid, and concealing pigments. Just like other makeup products, blusher also contains some harmful substances, for example, Teflon and polytetrafluoroethylene. Now let's see the comparison between these two brands, Tom Ford Beauty versus Intuit. We can see that the characteristic itself will influence the amount of expenses used to produce this product. The constant use of blusher that contains harmful substances as mentioned before will give negative effect to our body. These are some of the examples. Mascara is the basic eye makeup used to thicken, lengthen, and darken the eyelashes. It helps to enhance the appearance of our eyes. Let's begin with the characteristic of mascara. The main point is to thicken and lengthen the eyelashes. It also provides volume to enhance the look of our eye. It also equipped with well-shaped brush and contain conditioning formulation that can provide long wear. Typically, these are some of the basic formulation in mascara. Pigment, waterproofing polymer, thickening waxes or oils, algae and emulsifier, preservative, and emulsion stabilizer. On top of that, mascara also contains some of harmful substances such as harmful alcohol and heavy elements such as mercury and nickel. Let's see. The differences between high-end mascara, which is hourglass, and low-end mascara, which is essence. Both of these mascara contain different types of ingredients as well as the production costs that influence the price of each product. Little do we know that the more we use mascara that contain high level of toxins, the higher the risk for us to get these diseases. For example, hormone disruption, cancer, neurological problems, and hair loss. Now, as we are at the end of this video, you must have gained some new knowledge on how to get to know your cosmetics better. Before purchasing any products, read the ingredient carefully as a pricey product does not always portray a good quality. There may be a cheaper product in the market that has the same quality as the pricey product. Of course, we the ladies want to look pretty all the time, but remember, we must choose a good product in order to take care of our health and our skin. Be a smart consumer.